Hello everybody, this is Greg Maxwell with Amicus Settlement Planners. Wanted to talk to you about ABLE accounts and special needs trusts. You've probably heard of an ABLE account, you may or may not know exactly what it is, and you may be wondering how it's different from a special needs trust. So very briefly, an ABLE account stands for Achieving a Better Life Experience, and that was the name of the, the bill that passed Congress. And so it just is another option for someone, a client of yours that may be on Medicaid or SSI, and they want to preserve those benefits. So the way that an ABLE account works is if your client was disabled before the age of 26, they can establish an ABLE account. And into that account, they can place up to $15,000 per year that acts in essentially the same way that a special needs trust acts, but without the trustee, without the trust document, without some of the headaches and hurdles um, of a special needs trust. And so in certain situations, that can be a really good thing. Um, what we've even done in some cases where we've got a, a 50 or $60,000 special needs trust is we will pay from the special needs trust each year $15,000 into the ABLE account, essentially kind of draining the special needs trust and getting everything over into the ABLE account. And the reason we wanna do that is because an ABLE account is a little bit more flexible than a special needs trust. The ABLE account can pay for housing expenses, where a special needs trust generally cannot. So by getting funds out of a special needs trust and into an ABLE account, you've just allowed your client a little bit more flexibility in what they can use those funds for and still remain eligible for SSI and Medicaid. So just another arrow in the quiver for those of you dealing with or settling cases for those on Medicaid and SSI. And again, I don't expect you to remember all these rules. That's what we're for. Give us a call as we go through the fact scenario. If your client happens to be eligible, we can talk you and your client through the potential use of an ABLE account. But just wanted to let you know, it is another arrow and it's a great, it's a great option for those that qualify for it.